What's happening guys? Chris VA Travels. I'm still here in Matthews County. I was driving down the road and I saw this uh, Matthews Maritime Museum. Thought I'd uh, stop in, check it out. Kind of a uh, spur of the moment thing. And here it is, Maritime Museum. Come on in, we're open. Out of the front. Um, anchor donated by Betty Zane Ripley White. All right, go inside. Check this place out. 1607 Matthews County. Miss Matthews and all right so the guy just gave me a quick tour went over a few things and uh, yeah first display a bunch of old tools and yeah there's actually a lot in here and this display over here for this guy, Gilbert Klingles. He was a boat maker for Gwen's Island. Handmade uh, a lot of boats and he was actually featured, he's been featured in National Geographic. There was a PBS documentary done about him right there. Gilbert Klingle, Man of Steel. Up here, the Jenny Dare. And yeah, Matthew's huge shipbuilding area during the colonial period. Oh, and over here, a bunch of steamboats. And yeah, steamboat industry was huge. It lasted about 100 years uh, from about the 1830s, and then it wound down uh, around 1930s. And I'm actually reading a book right now about the Wallasat, uh, a steamer that wrecked on the Potomac. Uh, 75 people were killed. Uh, 1990, a newspaper article. And we're here near the Mob Jack Bay. So, old wharf right there. Oh yeah, and here's a uh, map of all the ports so you see what a big industry it was. Going, uh, I'm trying to not to put my, my hand in front of the camera. I know a lot of people don't like that. But yeah, shout out to Baltimore. You take a day trip, stay the night, come back. So yeah, Washington DC went up to Fredericksburg. And some pictures of Peggy crab pot yeah oystering it's a huge thing around here a cord cradle Some of the people, some of the old markets, Phillips Hardware. Yeah, not too far from Reedsville. Ginny out of Hampton. Walk over here real quick. All right. 
and we're getting into World War II and something pretty neat he showed me this submarine right here was the submarine that rescued George Bush uh, his flight went down World War II some of you guys may have seen that and this guy from Matthews County was aboard the the submarine pretty neat story Blair gun Missouri over here a line cannon and uh, I saw one of these last week when I was up in Delaware at the life-saving station Indian River life-saving station and yeah this thing shoots a line so you can connect to another ship instruments over here bearing finder all right a lot of information these old ships old steamer looks like a confederate flag a british flag it's a blockade runner it says oh yeah there it is smaller boat over here the elizabeth the schooner And the Aura Zimbo. Yeah, this thing was built for speed. Great Britain, Great Britain's King honors the Aura Zimbo. It looks like the thing was built in Liverpool. That was a big port over there in England. Ship's clock and weather, alas. Some foul weather gear. U.S. Coast Guard, some licenses. All right, and over here, this guy, Captain Jack Lewis, he was at Normandy. And a French painter, this is his ship, a uh, French painter painted this uh, while it was docked there at Normandy. So that's pretty neat. There's his cap. <clears throat> yeah, and these goggles here are off of a German ship. Oh yeah, bridge binoculars. Just signal flags. Big compass right here. A binnacle. things over here and this is off a ship that sank these are some recovered items and this is actually a toy ship uh, driven by remote control looks like some items that were probably off of a uh, yeah steamship
All right, that was it for the inside. Walk back out here. Just take a look at a couple more things out here. Couple wooden boots out here. Yeah, some old uh, sailboats. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Matthews Maritime Museum, getting out of here. See ya.